Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about equivalent ratios. How will we know that two ratios are equivalent when they have the same value when they are simplified? It has to be in simplest form. We can give an equivalent ratio to a given ratio when we multiply or divide a certain fancy fraction which is equivalent to 1. Let's try. Okay, for example, if we have here 10 is to 12, we can multiply, for example, 2 to 10 and 12. 10 times 2 and 12 times 2. That will give us 20 and then 24. That is 20 is to 24. But ratio can also be written using fraction. That's 10 over 12 times 2 over 2 which is our fancy fraction which is equivalent to 1 that will give you 10 times 2 is equal to 20 and 12 times 2 is equal to 24 it's easy right okay let's have another one what if we have here 8 is to 6 we can think of a number to multiply this and that would be 3 okay 8 times 3 is equal to 24 and 6 times 3 is equal to 18 and that is it but we can also write this into a fraction that's 8 over 6 then we can multiply our fancy fraction which is 3 over 3 that will give you 8 times 3 is equal to 24 and 6 times 3 is equal to 18 I know you got this it's very easy right okay as I mentioned a while ago we have two ways and the other one is division we can use division in making or giving another equivalent ratio to a given ratio let's have 10 is to 12 what number can we divide both 10 and 12 that would be 2 and then 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5 and 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6 and that's it we can also rewrite 10 is to 12 into a fraction that's 10 12 we can divide a fancy fraction which is equivalent to 2 over 2, that is 1. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5, and 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. So we have 5 sixths. We have another one here. That's 8 is to 6. What number can we divide both these two numbers? And that is 2. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Then we have 4 thirds. Mm-hmm. We can also rewrite 8 is to 6 to a fraction. That will give us 8 over 6. We can divide it by 2 over 2 as our fancy fraction. And what's left to us is 8 divided by 2 is 4 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Then we have 4 thirds. Okay, let's answer some questions here. Which of these ratios is equivalent to 4 is to 5? Is it A, 5 is to 4? It's B. 10 is to 50, and C, 16 is to 20, or D, 40 is to 50. Okay, for this question, we need to identify the equivalent fraction to 4 is to 5. And letter A is not that number because it was just interchange. The numbers are just interchange. So, absolutely not the correct answer. Now, let's have letter B, but before that, um, we try to multiply 4 is to 5 to 2, okay? That's 4 times 2 is equal to 8, and 5 times 2 is equal to 10. It's supposed to be 8 it's, is to 10 when it's multiplied by 2, so letter B is an X. It is not our answer. How about letter C? It is 16 is to 20. Hmm, let's try to multiply 4 is to 5 to 4. Maybe it is also equivalent to 16 is to 20. Okay, let's do that. 4 is to 5 times 4 is equal to 16. And 5 times 4 is equal to 20. Oh, that is a perfect match. So we have an answer. That's letter C. Okay, but we have to try also letter D. We can multiply 4 is to 5 by 10. Okay, let's do that. 4 is to 5 times 10. 4 times 10 is equal to 40. And 5 times 10 is equal to 50. Oh, that is also a perfect match. 
it means we have two answers for this question. That's letter C and D. Okay, next. Which ratio is equal to 15 is to 20? Is it A, 5 is to 20? B, 18 is to 25? C, 21 is to 28? And D, 24 is to 30? Okay, let's try these choices one by one. Okay, 5 is to 20. Do you think it is equivalent? No, of course not because it's 5, it's lesser than 15, and we still have 20 there. Absolutely add from the lists. Okay, let's move on to letter B. I think it is better if we will reduce 15 is to 20 to lowest term. We can write this one in fraction form, 15 over 20. So we can compare it to 18 is to 25 or 18 over 25. We can divide 15 over 20 by 5 to get the lowest term, and that's 3 fourths. How about 18 over 25? Is there a number that we can divide both of the numbers? Mm -hmm. I don't think so, because 18 over 25 is already in lowest term. So if we're going to compare 3 fourths and 18 over 25, they are not equivalent. So letter B is not part of the list anymore. Now let's move on to letter C. We have to reduce 21 is to 25 in lowest term. We can divide it by 7. 21 divided by 7 is equal to 3 and 28 divided by 7 is equal to 3 fourths. Oh, that's a perfect match. 3 fourths and 3 fourths. So we can say that possible answer is letter C. Next, how about letter D? 24 is to 30. Okay, we can divide these two numbers by 6 to get the lowest term 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4 and 30 divided by 6 is equal to 5 that makes it 4 fifths and 4 fifths is not equivalent to 3 fourths it means letter d is not an answer to our question and that means letter c is our final answer and that is 21 is to 20. okay let's move on to the next one I bought three flowers for 75 pesos. Is it equivalent to nine flowers for 252 pesos? A, yes, B, no. To answer this question, we have to write three is to 75 and nine is to 252 to its lowest term. What number can we divide both three and 75? That's three, okay. Three divided by three is one. 75 divided by 3 is equal to 25. This is its lowest term. How about for 9 over 252? It can be divided by 9. So 9 divided by 9 is equal to 1 and 252 divided by 9 is equal to 28. So the lowest term for this fraction is 1 over 28, making 1 over 25 and 1 over 28 not equivalent fraction our final answer is b which is no now it is your turn to solve please write your answer in the comment section the question is give two equivalent ratios for 6 over 18. I'll be waiting for your answer. Thank you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time.